Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Poly Bridge 3. Now if you look in the top right, this is my little profile. You can see, annoyingly, I'm in slot 1. But look, we've completed 69 oh. levels of Poly Bridge. Nice. nice. And so if we go into the level select, we are on to go your own way. So for this, we have a 43 and a half grand budget. We've got a load of materials we can use. And all we got to do is get these two cars through the checkpoints there and over to that. Well, that seems easy. Why, why is that so hard? Why are they on a little laddery thing? So it looks like they don't go at the same time. So I wonder, does this van like not fit under there? Maybe not sure. We will boosh that with road and then boosh that with road. And then I imagine I just need to build a bridge like that, right? So it shouldn't be too difficult. We do a wall brace there. This side, we can't do a wall brace. So we'll probably have to truss over the top like that sort of thing. We'll probably do similar on this side. So wall brace down there, truss over the top. And then that is a bridge. Will it be strong enough? No, it isn't. So it could be worth making this a lot bigger, this wall brace. And then I may as well add a bit of extra to it. So if I try that, oh my goodness. Okay, so that piece is just getting crushed. We'll put some steel in there for now. Is that any better? How was that? Double steel down the bottom, almost. Oh, you broke up there, did you? We can make these trusses a little bit bigger. And then with the stress on, see that it still fails. Make the wall brace a bit longer so that this is taking less weight. Oh, but then the road's broken. Breaking. So we can trust that up to try and make it strong. <laughs> oh, this is not going well. That steel just got crushed as well. Okay, that is too much weight then. So we go back to that design and then we need a way to sort of support more of this bridge. So what I'm thinking, if I just do a straight line, let's say from there to there. We don't have rope or cable to play with, but we can just use wood to do that. So if we fill that in and look, that is supporting some of the bridge. Oh, and it made it way stronger. Okay, now we're over to that side. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, I thought we were going to complete that then. Uh, so perhaps move that down. It may be that we just need to replace that with like road or maybe steel. So you can see from the off, even like that, it's quite yellow as that goes over. No, that's better. That is better. Okay, so now this little Jeep goes. Absolutely no one driving it. I think it's a lot lighter. Oh, I've just realized that's why it's a challenge. <laughs> It didn't get the checkpoint. You're honestly an idiot. Oh, no. I thought I'd completed it for a second. Okay, so what I need, I need like, I basically need like a little ramp there. But I don't want the ramp to be there when this comes. I mean, or I can just, I could just make my bridges go up to the top. That would probably be easier. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's delete all that then. We'll do a bridge going to the top. Boosh. I mean, to be honest, is it cheaper going down there or is it cheaper just to go like, like if I just go straight, I could probably go to about that point and then just have it drop down. Maybe. So if like that's a cheap way to do that side of the bridge, this side going to be a little bit trickier, but okay. So I think I've come up with a design that works at least for the first truck. I haven't tried the second one yet. You can see there's little bits of steel in places, but mostly it's wood. I haven't tweaked this at all yet. We do the jump at the end. Yeah. So you get to there. Now we just got to see whether this little Jeep works. It should do because it should clip that star now. Is it going fast enough to make the Jump. Nope. Oh, okay, I'm not even sure if we were to lift this road up, whether that would even help. Ready? Ready? Yes. No. Oh, okay. So remove that bit of steel. We need to add another bit of road. So adding a bit of road did mean we could get rid of the steel and it still works for that guy. And presumably we should make it. Yeah, forward roll to finish. But we have completed the level. Oh, we're on the top 4%. I'll tell you what, that is not too shabby at all. We're 540 here. And I feel like we can definitely do some shaving. How is our friend Tyler? Oh, man, he's 146th, 1,500 quid cheaper than me. Still, I feel like we can definitely shave this because a lot of it does stay green. Like, we really... I'm not sure if we do need steel down there. Obviously, it would be a lot shorter if we did that. Yeah, so we may need that instead dead but then we can lower this quite a lot and oh yeah that worked that did work okay so we've saved like three four hundred quid we can then shave some of these this is a bit of a mess i can surely make this better okay so that uses far less pieces and it still works this side how does the stress look oh i'll tell you what this on top this can be way smaller. In fact, if I bring them closer together like that, that's even cheaper. Um, looking at this, I don't think I need that piece because I think everything else is sort of a triangle. So if I press play, yeah, that's fine. I can then shrink this bit of road.
road as well. So if I bring that to the left, as long as this Jeep makes it, oh, easily. Oh, only just actually. <laughs> but we're well under 20 grand, which means we smashed Tyler, part of our casual daily routine there. Uh, we're 85th, not bad, top 1%. I probably could trim it a bit more, but I feel like if I get like too far ahead of Tyler, he's just going to give up. Because like, I mean, seeing every one of his scores be annihilated by me, like almost first try, it must be very disheartening for the poor fella. Anyway, I shaved off a little bit more, so we're down to 73rd. You see the top people actually save like quite a lot of extra money compared to me. In the gallery, yeah, this one's two grand cheap cheaper than mine. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's not a lot of bridge going on there. They did connect that end all the way through though. I guess because the the road is actually quite a strong piece. So it saves you like bracing it quite heavily underneath. Yeah, seems like nearly all these cheap solutions connected to the right. Although this one didn't. This one did a jump like I did. Anyway, at my favorite end, we got the highest budget. What is going on with that? Oh, they did the catch thing. They did... Oh my goodness. Okay, that was really, really clever. I was not expecting that bit to go up in like a drawbridge. Whoa, that was that was epic. And then the car falls down like vertically, like a lift. I mean, honestly, all I expected was like RCE propaganda and a load of those things everywhere. So what have we got here? The Nifty Sponsor Solution. What did that say? Four? RCE? Nifty did a bridge for me. Oh, isn't that nice? I'll tell you what, we should promote some Nifty. The engineer's brew. Now this one. Oh, look at that cable stay bridge. That is a bilf if ever I've seen one. Oh, and it's got a catch with a flap. So now that's hanging down. The cable stayed bridge still gets used. But you can see on the right, they got a double decker. Which to be fair, but then, that's, that's quite a tasty little truss layout you got going on there. Anyway, sandwiched in between more RTE propaganda and a swinging elephant's head. We've then got the... Kiwi? Who's Kiwi? Oi, no promoting yourself. Promote me only. Oh, look, it's a Kiwi. It looks like a penguin from Dome Romantic. How random. This one, we have another catch. Oh, I, I'm, I'm loving the catches. Fair play. Oh, look at the cable stage on there. They are really, really long cables. I'm quite impressed you even managed to like get that to work. Now, this one shows you the price of steel. Like All it is is just a pretty standard steel truss bridge. But the price is up there. And this one, the price of foundations. Look, cheeky foundations added there. Anyway, this one is really cool. For now, just look at this catch in the middle. It brings that down. That's like the hump thing that I said about. So the Jeep gets it from underneath. Oh, man. And as well as that, there's also a tension bridge on the left side, which I do quite like. Uh, then we have... What is going on here? It's pulling... Why is it pulling the car behind it? Why has it got a circle thing that's spinning? I So many questions. <laughs> anyway, we move on to the next level. A big boat. Now, I imagine there's going to be a big boat on this. Oh, there it is. So what have we got? We've got... Oh, is that like a skip lorry? Oh, it's a tow truck, apparently. So the tow truck, we've got to get it over that. Now, it's not towing anything. The G-Wagon has not broken down, thankfully. But uh, it looks like just got to do some sort of arch bridge. Yeah, and I reckon while I build that one, I'll, I'm going to say to you guys, it's engineering time. Look yeah. under yeah. the bridge yeah. there yeah. where yeah. architects yeah. roam. Yeah. They're dreaming yeah. of structures yeah. that yeah. won't find yeah. a home. Yeah. Because bridges need good strength and not just looks and charm. I bring functionality while architects harm. Sometimes I feel like, like the weights on me, calculating loads, ensuring safety. I built the bridges with precision and care, but architects designs often go away. Alright, well, tried a few different things. This seems to be the cheapest way I can do it. 18,356 quid. Yeah, I'm only in the top 2%, so there's definitely a way cheaper way of doing it. I just can't seem to figure it out. So, we head into the gallery, sort by lowest budget, and... Oh, it was going under. Man, that is a rickety old bridge. Yeah, I tried going under, but it just didn't seem to work for me. This person went over. They did have wall braces though. Again, that's only 16 or just just under 17 grand. A lot cheaper than mine. And um, I actually found, I don't know if you I don't know if you saw my one. Can you see the trusses aren't linked? So I've sort of got a truss on this side, a truss on that side, and they touch in the middle there. When I did have a truss like going across, that actually made the bridge it made it way worse. Do you see that that failed there? So yeah, I found splitting my trusses was the cheapest way of 
doing it. Although, although some people look, some people did like an under the Nova. Even that was cheaper than mine. Lots of cheaper ways to do it than I did. Fair play, everyone. Uh, let's have a quick look at the highest budget. So what does that say? Sponsored by the Nifty Sponsored Solution. Nifty, building bridges that sponsor their own company because me giving them a shout out isn't giving them enough advertisement. They need to advertise their advertisement within my advertisement. So therefore, you can support Nifty by going to nifty.com and buying a bulk package of Nifty. Please don't. Nifty.com may not actually exist. If it does exist, it's not my responsibility. Um, anyway, just looking, looking on this screen, we have some absolute bilfs someone's made the golden gate bridge oh my goodness it's so pretty then puddin's done a massive cable stayed next to it with wooden cables as well as some steel cables to actually hold these pillars up that's so cool yeah check out this one i think the boat's only gonna just fit through the gap the perfect slot uh this one where <laughs> where's that road going why are you going so high oh no oh <laughs> It fell so hard. Um, oh, look out, look out. Art CE is back. Trying to do some arty truss work. Uh, Alan's back. Alan! Alan! With... <laughs> yep, that. Yeah, the actual most expensive solution. I don't know why... Oh, okay, that's why. That would be why. Um, oh, look at this. The spider web of cable. I like that. This one we've got... <laughs> We got some RCE propaganda and then uh, cherries. Are they cherries dangling? Like, I, I don't know. Oh, look, this one. It's wood and it goes all the way around the boat, but literally all the way around, like underneath as well. Not going to try pronouncing your name. No offense. Oh, look at that. There are some beautiful bridges in this level. I'm so glad I went straight to the gallery. I think there were lots of ways of doing this. Like, look how tall that is. <laughs> So cool. But yeah, I was so excited. I didn't even show you guys that we absolutely smashed Tylus. That, that's good to know. Anyway, the next level is level 10, Lonely Island. Lonely Island. Because I bridged in my pants. Um, okay, so what have we got to do? We've got a blue car there. We've got to get them up to the flag. There is a Lonely Island in the middle. So, couple of choices. We either just do a bridge like all the way over, probably making use of the island by going like low down to it. Or we actually use the island and we build two bridges. Not entirely sure what's going to be cheaper to be honest. I feel like it could be cheaper actually doing all one thing. I don't know, purely for the bushing. Let's just let's just get this filled with road. Boosh! And then we'll come back to trying to make two bridges afterwards. But I'm just thinking like doing like that sort of thing. Like that could be cheaper than trying to like get it to stay there because there's no anchors on here. You have to try and wedge it on, do wall braces and stuff. Uh, speaking of which, probably want a wall brace over on this side. Definitely want one over this side as well. Right, and then I guess we just see, can we do two sort of trussy arches like that and like that? So we press play. Oh, I've got the stress on. Oh, seems to be working. Seems to be working. Nice. 22 grand. We did it straight away. Oh, and we're in the top 5%. That is not bad. Uh, didn't beat Tyler. He did 19,700. But where actually are we? We're 700. Not too bad. The cheapest way... Wait, what? Under eight grand? That's going to be some cheesy old bridge, isn't it? Generally, the cheapest way was like 15 to 16 grand. Okay, so there's definitely money to be saved here. Because uh, that car is it's a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. In fact, what's actually... What's in the back of it? Oh, look at that. It's got some knots in the back of there, boys. Oh, it's the DeLorean. I didn't recognize it. So it's in blue. Yeah, but anyway, let's just have a go at lowering a lot of this. Is that sort of fine? This side also fine if we lower that. Okay, I'm thinking, do I need all of this down here? Could I, I don't know, could I raise that up? That is cheaper. Yeah, that seemed to work. Raise that up as well. Lower some of these. Raise that to make it cheaper. In fact, could I get rid of that and add that underneath? I reckon so, because then I can make this one way smaller, I think. Okay, could I do similar over this side? Because that allows me to make this middle bit of the span way smaller, because uh, it's holding up less weight, essentially. Oh, that went badly. But yeah, just bring all of these down. All right, and then we're pretty good. We're still over 20 grand, though. So I am sort of wondering if if I didn't have that middle part, I feel like that's probably how you need to do this, isn't it? So yeah, top 2%, 247th. But let's try now doing a bridge on top of there. In fact, let's make all these bits of road a little bit longer. And then we do the same thing on this side. So like down to there-ish, fill in with road. And then we just try and bridge on top. And hopefully this should be a cheaper way of doing it. So we got that. Will it hold? Yeah, because that is under 20 grand. 
hand already. So we can definitely make this cheaper. I just realized as well, uh, we got a bit of a kadonk with that getting up. Uh, it seems to work though. So, so I won't get rid of it. Right, okay, you can see most pieces go pretty red now. I can probably, I could shave it a bit more. But unless there's any bits I don't need, which actually I could get rid of that. Because I feel like the force from here is actually going like down. So that might not be needed. Let's just have a little look. So you could donk up there. You see that's going red. Oh, there we go. We are under 19 grand. That's what I like to see. Yep. Then suddenly we're 73rd in the world. I need to get down to 18,800. So I need to save like 85 quid. All right. Okay. There we go. 18,801 quid. We earned that spot on the leaderboards. Definitely. Sorry, mouse cop. Uh, beat Tyler. Of course we did. I'll beat him by a grand. Fair play. The lowest budget solutions. Ooh, look. A little jump to the middle. And then a very, very rickety bridge up there. Fair play. Now, this is another 16 grand one. Again, it's just having like super, super rickety bridges. You can see this one sort of got like two spans there. So there's one bridge sort of to that middle point. And then the angle is such that it can't like flex downwards, which means you can remove a couple of supports. That's quite clever. Fair play, Minecat. Yeah, lots of people realize you can do a jump down to the middle apart from myself. I mean, a mere engineer got that. Now this one. Oh, cheeky. Little bit of, little bit of banana bridge. The double banana. Yeah, right. For the most exp <laughs> Lost. No, wait. What? Nifty. Was that actually there? There is a lost penguin. Hang on. I need to go back to my level. There is a lost penguin. I didn't even know you were there. You are the Nifty sponsored penguin. But yeah, that is why we fund Nifty because it's not just tea you get. You get incredible penguin facts like that. Um, What have we got? Oh, I think that's the that's the hunter again. Just loads of like cat heads hanging. Uh, a little bit scary. This one, RC propaganda with... I don't understand what's what the obsession with upside down faces are. Oh, really? This one, RC more dangly. Are they like giant flies? I think they're giant flies. Oh, Puddin loves the cable stay bridge. I can, I can say that much. <laughs> the foundation and pier looking very, very strong there. Right, so for this one, there's so much trust. It's like blurry in my eyes. What is that? I don't know. Oh, I think, is it just three pillars? Yeah, I was very confused. Look, they got a sword over there as well. All right, so for this one, Paul is going a little bit mental with the camera there. This one, very strong support. <laughs> Love that. But yeah, now we move on to level 11. Under over, it's called. So, oh no, it's one where there's only, it's only certain areas you can build. So we can build down there. But look, as soon as that goes up there, it goes red. So the game's basically saying no. Anyway, we can do straight across road. And I guess there's not going to be too many different solutions to this, right? I mean, you've almost got to go to that point in an under arch. And then you've got to go over the top in this middle bit. So that gives us this, which is going to break, yeah, there. Uh, so what I could do... I don't know whether this will be cheaper, but I'm thinking steel over to that point and then just support this first bit of road with a wall brace. If that worked, okay, it didn't work. I mean, oh, oh, with road in, with road in, it did seem to work. That bit has now popped. I am just wondering though, could I just replace that 846 quid with a bit of steel? It nearly cost double, but it should be way stronger. Yeah, I feel like if I just shove that in the other side, that will probably be a working bridge, right? Yeah, okay. We've completed it. 19,700 quid. We're in the top 7%. Not too bad. Tyler did it for 17,600. The cheapest... Ooh, 1516. Okay. So, if we did go back to using wood, because I can put a muscle in like that. I mean, could I swap... Could I get rid of that piece? It's going to be a bit flexible. Yeah, too flexible. So I'll get rid of that one and leave it like that. So that's a wooden muscle instead of steel, which is cheaper because that costs 1,200 compared to the nearly 1,500. So we'll do that. Probably turn the stress on as well to see. Do a little bit of shaving of this in the middle. And then I think I do need steel down there, but I could maybe put another muscle in. If I do that sort of thing, how red is that going to go? go. No, that's fine. That is fine. So copy it to the other side, shove it there. Okay, what can we do next? Because we're sort of running out of things we can get rid of. Although maybe we don't want to come down there. We could delete all of that and try and combine it into like just a big sort of wall brace. So that's usually how we would do a wall brace. We have like that down there and then sort of that sort of setup. Now, oh man, it gets destroyed, but we can replace these with 
potentially road and um, but also steel if needed as well steel is more expensive so i'd rather do it in road although that last piece did get destroyed so maybe that needs to be steel but yeah so what does that cost three thousand five hundred quid compared to three thousand eight hundred it's not that much cheaper to be honest although can we here's one here is one if we get rid of if we try and get rid of a middle piece and do that sort of thing we'll probably have to like we may have to put like an art uh, yeah i tell you what that could that could be a cheaper way of doing this if we arch up like that we fill that in and then we try and do what we did before where we just finish like in the middle so we get rid of that piece oh and i tell you what there's potential here there is potential here that keeps breaking though so if i try and go back to this design it's the, it's the clunk that's doing it maybe try and smooth that a little bit as well but yeah the trouble is if i smooth this out it means we don't have our arch and if we don't have our arch then this is failing i think if it was straight let's just swap these with steel for now just to see if the concept works so, oh no, that does still break. That does still break. Is that because they're not connected together? Okay, game. Okay, I see what you're playing at. What if we then, what if we keep everything underneath and do something like that? Everything's underneath. I mean, it works. I think we're more expensive though. Yeah, I'm not actually feeling the wall brace, if I'm honest. I feel like down... I mean, what I had before is probably better. Just trying to make that work. I mean, oh, it had so much movement, though. What if I bring these roads down a bit? I think what I had before going back over the top is the way to do this one. Although maybe rather than that, could I... Maybe that would be stronger? Nah, still not strong. All right, okay. How's that? Yes, Yes, we get across. We get across. Oh, no. Okay, too much speed coming down. So asymmetrical bridge. Oh, it's worked. It's worked. I only saved 200 quid out of all of that. Okay, I need to save a lot more money. I have no idea how, if I'm honest. Could I just, like, try and get away without a muscle? Can't see that working. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I didn't need a muscle. Okay, I don't need a muscle. Okay, let's just copy this to the other side. Hopefully it works for the, the down end as well. I just did a little bit of fiddling there and it seemed to work. I feel like I'm, go I'm gonna need on that side, surely. I will do some tweaking, but I can't see it working without a muscle, if I'm honest. So is that, oh, okay, it works, it worked. Oh, now we're 85th, now we're 85th. If I make that a wall brace, I mean, these trusses in the middle don't go red at all, but I think if I make these lower, it just puts more stress onto the road. Okay, well, I think that's what I'm gonna end up with i think i've beaten tyler which is the main thing oh 30 second what the freak how am i 30 seconds suddenly anyway i will take that let's have a look at the lowest how do they get away with that wall brace and they don't have muscles they just have rodent what i'm so confused how that works now this one identical it looks like oh there you go that one's very similar to mine although i don't know what's going on oh are they hanging from the they're hanging from the wall anchor to get that to get their muscle like lower down so it takes more weight i did mine straight from there now that one pretty similar oh very similar price as well look the six and five are the different way around to mine otherwise same price a very similar design although no wall brace up there how do they get away with that oh i've just realized as well they've got a single span whereas i've got like sort of two that meet in the middle hence they had to go upwards interesting let's have a look at the highest budget what even what am i looking at? oh i see what i'm looking at okay yep yeah, we'll carry that to the to the other side yeah <laughs> yes, RCE propaganda from the one and only Nifty. This one we're using a little bit of water dynamics. That really helps stabilize the bridge. Just getting the very tip in the water really helps to like make these braces stronger. You can see that's where the the, the wall brace, the wall anchor, that's where it joins. Uh, very important. If you did that in the middle, it'd make the bridge weaker. But because it's there, way stronger. Um, oh, wow. Look at this. Someone did like the mega muscle underneath with just a simple little truss on top. Right. I think that would do us for this time. We got two more levels to we finish this world then we get to pick from the serene kai clades the desert springs oh springs i forgot about springs in this game or radical meltdown which has custom shapes so yeah for now i'll say peace love and bridges bye guys